In this tutorial, we will cover on how you can spawn a bunch of different actors on random predefined locations in Unreal Engine 4. We start with the default third person scene with starter content enabled. I've already made five different actor blueprints, a BP spawn manager, where we will write all the logic for the random spawn locations, a base pickup and three actors inheriting from the base pickup. This allows us to just save an array of base pickups but still have a different pickup inside of the array. Inside these pickup blueprints there is no logic for this video. It just contains a basic mesh. But do let me know if you guys want to see a video on that in the future. These pickups can be anything such as guns, power-ups, whatever you can think of. So feel free to replace the base pickup clause with whatever you want. So let's open the spawn manager and first we will make three variables. Actors to spawn, places to spawn and actor amount. Actors to spawn should be a class reference to our base pickup or in your case whatever you decided to use. It's important to note the difference between a class and object reference here. A class is a type like a float or an integer, whilst an object is an instance of that class, which can be found inside your scene. For example, we have a door pickup blueprint, which is a class, but if you want to give it a position or a rotation, we need to create an instance of it and put it inside of our scene. Places to spawn are the locations we will spawn our pickups. We will use target points that we place inside of our scenes, so we'll need an object to reference those. The actor mount will just be a regular integer, which indicates how many items we want to spawn. This will be kept by the amount of spawn locations. Make sure to make all of these variables public so we can edit them from within our scene. Now all we need to do is go to our begin play and make a for loop that starts with zero and ends at our actor count. Every loop we will spawn an actor from class, which will be our actor to spawn. We will need a location for our actors to spawn on, which we'll get from our place to spawn. But first we have to make sure that the place to spawn isn't empty and that we have set the spawn locations. So we'll have a branch and check if the place to spawn array length is higher than zero. If it is, that means that we have set the locations, which is good. If it isn't, it means that we probably forgot something and we should print a message that will explain to us why our code is not working. So now we can just get a random spawn location and use the actor transform to spawn our actor with. If you put the spawner inside the scene, along with some target points, which we'll use as spawn locations, you should be able to go to the spawn manager, define a pickup you want to spawn, the amount of times you want to spawn it, and reference the target points that you just placed inside of the scene. You should be able to see random items spawning whenever you start up the game. You can drag and drop the target points from within your scene to the spawn manager if you lock the detail tab of the spawn manager first. Or you can simply click on it and it will give you a drop down menu of every single target point inside of your scene. Now, setting the references to the target points is fine if you only have like a couple of spawn points, but if you have a big level with over 100 spawn points, it can become quite a drag to set this up. So if you go back to our begin play, we can call this node, which is called get all actors from clause. As a clause, we select our target points. And basically what it does is it will find every single target point inside of our scene and add them to an array which we can save in our places to spawn. Now keep in mind that this operation can be quite heavy, especially if you have many actors inside of your scene. So that's why I suggest only doing it in our begin play. So now you might say, hey Pyjama King, I want to reuse this system for both my pickups and my guns. But I want my guns to have different spawn locations. Well don't fret, you can just go to your scene and give a target point a tag, which is an identifier for the object. You could potentially give it a tag pickup. This allows you to now use the get all actors from class with tag node, giving you a separate array of spawn locations with the tag pickups and the tag guns. So now you can just use a spawn manager without having to worry about referencing all of your spawn locations. You can also put this variable on private now. So we currently have a system that spawns an actor on a random location that we can define. But what if you want the object also to be random? Well that's quite simple. You just have to make the actors to spawn an array and get a random from the array and feed it into our spawn actor from class. We will also add another branch to check if this is empty or not. Just to make sure that we didn't forget to set the items we want to spawn. 
There are still two issues left. The first one is that two items can still spawn on the same location. This can be fixed by keeping a reference to our current spawn point. And after spawning the actor, we will delete the spawn point from our array, so it can't spawn an actor there twice. The last issue is that we have 5 actors spawning, whilst we told the system to only spawn 4 actors. Although as an oopsie on my part, we can easily fix this by starting our loop at 1 or decommanding our actors amount before starting our loop. So in summary we get all the actors of the class target point, we put them into our array places to spawn, which is an array of target point object references, then we check if we have enough actors to spawn. After that we check if we have enough places to spawn. If neither of them have a length above zero it means that we forgot to set them inside of our scene. After that we decrement the actor count because if the if someone wants five actors to spawn uh, then the last index needs to be four or we can put the first index at one and we don't have to decrement our actor count. After that we take a random place to spawn and we set that as our current spawn point. We get the actor transform of our current spawn point and erect a random actor to spawn. We spawn that actor on the spawn location that we got from our spawn point. And then after that we remove our current spawn point from our place to spawn so that actor can't spawn at the same position twice. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Don't be afraid to ask questions in chat. I will try to reply as soon as possible and let me know what you would like to see a video on next.